hi everyone welcome to a new video i am dr martina i'm a china trained medical doctor currently working in nigeria i offer professional services to students intending to study in china there are some concerns that i want to address in this video based on my previous videos about studying in china that i have made there are a few people that have raised up some concerns and some of these videos are quite old so it is appropriate that I come here and I make updated videos and give you information regarding studying in China. So if you're interested in this type of content, please stick around and let us get into it. I made some videos, I think about two years ago, that are still doing very well here on YouTube about studying in China. And that was during the period of the pandemic. I spoke about the current situation in China. I spoke about students not being able to go back in China, my opinion on that. I'm trying to help students to guide them on making the right decision on if they wanted to study in China during that period. I also made some advice videos for international students that were stuck outside of China during that period. But now the pandemic is over and you know things have returned back to normal in China. So one of the questions that I get and I want to address is do I still recommend people to study in China? And my answer is yes. I studied in China for six years, I was a medical student and I had a great experience in China. I have my reasons for going to study in China and most people that come to me and reach out to me are looking for opportunities to study abroad. Some people have considered China based on my experience also. I have a couple of videos on this channel explaining why I went to China and some vlogs talking about my experience as a medical student in China. What I try to do is that I want people to watch my videos, watch my experiences and based on that, decide if they want to study in China or not. I am not pushing people to study in China, but this is my experience. And if based on that, you want to study in China, you think, oh, I like her experience as a medical student in China and I want to experience something similar, then by all means, do so okay so from my experience i fully recommend it as long as you go to an accredited medical university as long as you're willing to work hard put in the efforts to study then by all means do so my um, opportunity to study in china has opened a number of doors for me and even with my degree i am able to write a licensing exam for foreign countries they are qualified medical students or doctors are studied in China that have been able to work in the US, in Canada, in UK, as long as you go to an accredited medical university. And that's what I try to do. I try to help students to get admission to only accredited medical universities in China. But unfortunately, you know, that can be a little bit more expensive, but I believe that it is worth it. It is worth it to go to a recognized medical university so you can use your degree all over the world without any limitations okay so that is that let's get into some other questions what is the most important reason you advise parents or students to enroll in universities outside of nigeria for nigeria in particular i don't push people to enroll outside you guys know i have always been an advocate of if you can study in your country then do so but if you want to study abroad china is one of the great options there are good facilities they are equipped good staff there's also a lot of opportunities available for you you get to explore the country explore the business side Depending on what you actually want, you can either choose to study in your country or to study in China. Because, of course, language barrier always comes in. But if you're dedicated enough and willing to learn the language, it will not be an issue for you. Learning the language is also not a requirement to study in China because you study English medium. Except you're actually going to study in Chinese, then it will be required for you to know the language. But if you can speak the language, it will help you communicate on, you know, day-to-day -day basis and also interact with more patients in the hospital. 
So I offer professional services to students intending to study in China, particularly for medical students. Because I was a medical student in China, I'm able to guide students on the right universities, on some struggles and challenges that they might experience in schools and also throughout their academics. And that's why I like to focus on medical students. But I also offer services to students that want to study other courses like business or engineering, um, international relations, pharmacy, dentistry. I also offer services for this. So if these are the courses you're interested in, you can also feel free to reach out to me. Or if there are any other courses that you are interested in and you think China offers those services, feel free to reach out to me. I'll always respond to your messages on Instagram and I'll be able to properly help you, guide you and actually tell you if studying in China will be a good fit for you. For some of the people that reach out to me sometimes, I actually say, <laughs> I actually, I'm actually very honest and I'll tell you my opinion on if you should study a particular course in China. I'm not interested in, you know, pushing you to go to a school that you will end up regretting or that will not give you the best opportunities when you are done. So this is what I try to do. How long does it take for admission letters to be issued? Well, it takes about 7 to 14 days on average. For some universities, they prefer to take a month to respond. And some can even be earlier than 7 days. So it just depends on the school and also who is in the application for you. What are the requirements? Well, it's important that you have good grades. It is so important. China wants students with very good grades. So this is what is required. Also, if you are above 18, it would it is it would be a benefit. Although students younger than 18 can also study in China, but they would also need a guarantor in China. But that is not difficult to actually get. But don't worry, these are these are the basic requirements. Every other thing are documents that you can be able to get. Having a strong financial statement is important. So there needs to be a certain amount of money in your bank account in order for you to get admission to study in some universities in China and to also get a visa to study in China. You need to have a particular amount of money. The school needs to know that you are capable to sponsor yourself throughout your education and you won't be looking for school fees. You won't be considering going to work or do anything else. They want to ensure that you can pay your school fees while you're studying in China. What is the budget for schooling in China? For different courses, it's actually different. For medicine in recognized universities, I say about $5,000 and above for accredited universities. Yes, there are some schools a little bit cheaper, but the average that I say is $5,000 and above. For other courses, you can get about $2,500 thousand dollars just within that range so that's the average for tuition fees when it comes to studying in china so depending on where you are you can calculate it and convert it into your currency to get you know the, the equivalent to studying in china so currently it is admission season schools are currently admitting so if you're someone interested in studying medicine in china or any other course please feel free to reach out to me. My email will be in the description box and also on the screen. You can also send me a DM on Instagram. Although most schools have started closing already, but I am affiliated to a number of schools and we can still help to secure admission for you during this late application phase. So if you're a serious student, emphasis on serious, you believe you have good grades, and you have a good financial statement, you're willing to make the necessary payments, have no delays, and get your admission as soon as possible, then please reach out to me. Let us start your application process immediately and help you on achieving your journey to becoming a student in China. So that is it for in this video. If you have any more questions, please always leave it in the comment section. I will try and answer them. And if there's a need for me to film another video, I will do that. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.